Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica here to do the 1212 portal reading for the sign of Scorpio. This will be for Scorpio sun, moon rising, as well as Venus signs. And obviously being a general reading, this will not resonate for everybody. So please do go check out the other signs that make up your natal chart as often they can resonate even more than your sun sign. Cross watchers, if I'm speaking to Scorpio and it's sounding like I'm speaking to you, by all means, take that message as that's how spirit brings it to you. And only as it resonates, of course. And if it doesn't fit, guys, don't make it fit. It just means I'm not tuning into your vibration. And there may be other planets within your natal chart that are more influential to you than your sun sign this, this, for this portal. So that's why I encourage you to watch those videos. And do go check out the 12, 12 portal videos I did for both the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine energies, which obviously we all have both energies within us. Therefore... Um, and I go a lot more in depth on the 1212 portal there and it's very, very powerful. So I highly recommend checking those videos out because you're going to get a lot more information than I'm going to be giving in these astrological readings. So, um, and then also check out the 2020 series that's, I've created a playlist for you guys because the 2020 series is all about understanding the magnitude of the energies coming in for us in 2020. It, yes, it is that big of a deal and understanding what they are and how they, you can leverage them will help you basically leverage these beautiful energies for your highest and best moving forward. So I definitely recommend checking those out also. So let's pull an overall message here, theme for this portal for the sign of Scorpio. Let's see what theme Scorpio gets. Ooh, and we're getting creativity. So this is about doing things differently. This is about experiencing things out of the box, not the typical, the way things are. You know, this is where you are opening up to so much more in your world. This is a portal. Interesting that there's a doorway here. But they're looking all beyond this doorway. There's so much more out there that is beyond just what is through this door. So let's see how this is going to be playing out for Scorpio. So let's see what past energies has been, have been weighing Scorpio down leading up, leading up to this portal. So what past energies have been weighing Scorpio down? We're getting the King of Swords just flying right out. The death card, there you are. And the eight of pentacles. So it feels like what's been weighing you down here leading up to this point, Scorpio, is there's been a, an ending and also a transformation and a rebirth happening here that you've gotten a lot of clarity about something and you've made some decisions and you've been really focused on doing your work. You've been focused on these pentacles. Some of you may have be, been extra focused on actually your work itself. But it's like I'm just getting such an energy of care and diligence right here with what you're doing with your pentacles. I'm going to get a couple more cards to see what this is about. Why is the king of swords here? So we're getting the devil, the fool, and the strength card. Okay. So those are um, three major arcanas jumping out. Um, so what's been weighing you down is there's been some sort of truth and clarity that you've been ready to move forward with. But it's required you to have a lot of strength against the devil here. The devil's been coming in because this is a bit of an illusion. Or this is not illusion. This is where the devil feels like he has power over you. So it's almost like the universe has been trying to hold you back from where you want to go next in your journey, Scorpio. And it's you may have felt like things have been stacked against you. And even though you want to move forward with this journey, um, if I'm, I'm hearing swimming upstream, you may have felt like you've been swimming upstream, but this is what's been weighing you down. And tell me about what's transforming here with the death card. The seven of wands, something you've stood your ground about. Exactly. And the eight of pentacles is the six of cups. So this relates to a soulmate here that you've been really focused on, um, possibly reconciling with. And it, you know, for me, this could certainly feel like not necessarily reconcile, but 
uh, could be someone from your past, but definitely something that you've been standing your ground about, but there've been some real forces here that have been weighing you down. I mean, these are, when you've been weighed down here by three major arcanas, four major arcanas here out of um, eight cards, that's a lot been weighing you down spiritually, Scorpio. So let's see what's being confronted with this portal for you, Scorpio. What energies are being confronted for Scorpio with this portal? Wow. The King of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Two of Swords. So what's being confronted here is that you have, you felt stuck, kind of trapped. You have been weighed down. You've been in a stalemate here with somebody where there is a lot of love. Somebody has a lot of love for you and you have a lot of love for them, but they may not have really shown you yet. And so what's being confronted is there's something here around a person that has deep feelings for you. And these, these are, this is maturity. This isn't puppy love. This is some serious love. And, but you have felt powerless that we're getting the eight of swords and the devil. And you may have felt trapped and stuck and feeling like, look at, she's even like putting her head down. She's wiped out from this stalemate that she's been in. She's like, oh my God, I've been here forever. And I'm just like over it. I'm so over it. She's over that stalemate and tell me why the two of swords is here because yeah she's been waiting for this abundance and this joy and this celebration to come in the manifestation of love and it's like she's just been stuck in this place so that's what's being confronted here so let's see what's being reborn for scorpio what is being reborn for scorpio with this portal Well, we get the Emperor right under the King of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. So what's being reborn here? Certainly the, the, that you, Scorpio, could be taking the lead in your life, but um, it could be that you also are really in a place where you're wanting some stability. You're getting two fours, which do represent foundation and stability. And, and I have to say this because again, um, it's coming through, it's not going to apply to everybody, but if this is a, a sacred partnership, a real true divine connection, what's being reborn here is the masculine energy really taking the responsibility and the burdens from the feminine. Um, I'm going to get some more cards about what's being reborn. Why is the emperor here? The temperance card. Yeah, because what's being reborn is this alchemy of the divine masculine. Again, could be the divine masculine energy within yourself, which is the energy that takes the lead. But we are getting two men here, uh, the king of cups and the emperor. So what's been confronted is this person this king who has had emotion for you or you've had emotion for them that hasn't really come forward to tell you, but then suddenly they emerge as the emperor as what's being reborn. So if there's a person that's not been coming forth that you want to connect with on a soul level as a soulmate energy, they're showing up here as having the alchemy has happened from the king to the emperor. They've switched into a different role. They've switched. They've matured. The emperor supersedes the king any day. So let's see why the Ten of Wands is here. The Eight of Cups. So this, what's being reborn is you really going for what is your emotional fulfillment and your happiness. Your person may be coming towards you having walked away from something and now taking the responsibility of having possibly walked away from you in the past and for the four of pentacles why is this here the ace of swords so what's being reborn here is this victory and this new beginning where something has really changed and shifted 
So let's see what truth you're aligning with Scorpio with this portal. What truths, what truth is Scorpio going to be aligning with about themselves regarding this portal? The five of swords, the page of wands and the nine of cups. So what truth you're aligning with is that you have conquered the, the fears. You've conquered the battles. You've emerged victorious here. There's some exciting news that could be coming in. There's a new endeavor and there's wish fulfillment here. There's uh, absolute happiness. So it's like you have, you have defeated this heavy energy Scorpio and literally like you go really deep when it comes to heavy and, but you are the Phoenix of the Zodiac. So you are emerging out here, ready, ready to do, to embark on an endeavor here that is going to bring you a lot of wish fulfillment. And tell me about the nine of cups, the Hierophant. So yeah, you're going to spiritually, you've really elevated, but this also can represent marriage, a relationship moving to a more committed stance spiritually and the page of wands is getting the three of wands so something that you've been waiting for you're looking towards the future but here comes this ship finally that you've been sitting there waiting all this time and what have you come the vic victory here is the chariot on top of it so the truth that you're aligning with is you are emerging victoriously something's going to start moving forward that you've been awaiting for there's going to be some news some communication there's going to be a new endeavor coming in that is very spiritually aligned and very happy here. And it's also the star. So this is destined. This is, this is your happiness. This is your path. This is the healing of the situation that has been um, really weighing you down, Scorpio. And one more for um, this Ace of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, things moving in your favor things completing, things beginning. So here it is, the end of that cycle, Scorpio. And um, I send you so much love. Until next time. Bye.